Hey what's up folks this is GK so in this video I'm going to talk to you about the experience that I had writing the new exam format of associate cloud engineer so I got the invitation last month or in the month of February and then I've taken the exam around after one week uh, after I got the invitation I don't know how I got the invitation I was nominated by maybe Google themselves because I was part of Quick Labs I had some account I had a Quick Labs account and then I had signed up for the exam the beta format of the exam as you all know when I have written my first exam long back associate cloud engineer exam I had taken the beta exam as well and I had failed that time after that I have passed in the main exam so this time around I again I have participated in the beta I have uh, taken the exam and then I passed the exam so that's what I had shared on my LinkedIn page on March 1st I have got the result so it, it took about one month to get the result. I don't know when this new format is going to be implemented. So if you have any idea, please let me in the comment section. But the exam, when it is going to be launched, will be of a completely new format. So for those who are already familiar with the ACE exam, you all know it's a multiple choice exam like any other most of the cloud service provider exams. And then uh, there are 50 questions. You can answer them and then you will get the result after some time. I mean, you get the pass or fail, but they will evaluate and then you will get the result. But the new format is completely a hands-on based format. Like think of uh, the CK exam where you have to, you know, type the commands of, you know, the questions that have been asked uh, in a console. And similarly, this exam is also like that. So it, it was a five hour long exam, the beta exam that I have participated in. I'm sure the main exam will not be of that long it will be maybe one hour or one and a half hour but what you have to do in the exam is you will be presented with a scenario let's say the scenario is to create a service account and assign some permissions if you are familiar with quick labs uh, you will get a question and then you can click on the launch lab and then you are going to you know complete the whole uh, question or uh, do the scenario and click on submit so when you check your answer you will know whether you have completed the scenario or not so this is of the similar format the reason why this format is much better than your multiple choice questions is because it actually tests your knowledge your hands-on knowledge so when I took the exam it was five hour long exam and they have covered various topics in that exam related to the operation side more like for example the questions were around uh, how to create a service account and how to add certain permissions so these are some of the easy questions like check the um, cloud storage permissions, uh, how to make them public or how to remove the public access of a bucket. And some tough questions were around the bigger scenarios which will consume which consume a lot of time. Now because it was a five hour long exam, I took break in between and then I completed the whole exam in about three and a half hours or I think four hours roughly after taking the break. So the tough questions for me were around the BigQuery and stuff because I haven't uh, had lots of hands-on experience with BigQuery, but they asked me to create a CSV file. You have to use the utilities. So using the utilities would save a lot of time instead of doing it from the console. So that's what I have learned. Uh, BQ util, I've used BQ util and then other uh, utilities, the CLI commands to write the exam much faster and pass. So only question, I think out of all the questions, I failed one question. I, I exactly don't remember how many questions I got or how many scenarios I got. So they have covered service accounts, IAM, BigQuery stuff, and then uh, the Kubernetes stuff like uh, uh, creating a doc, creating a service or creating a service in Kubernetes. So I had thoroughly enjoyed this format. I'm not saying this because I had passed the exam. Even if I would have failed, I would have said the same thing. Uh, because one, it gives you the hands-on uh, stuff. You don't have to remember anything while practicing or while preparing for the exam. If you have experience, hands-on experience, or if you have practiced the right stuff, then you can easily, you know, crack the exam, and then you can immediately check the answer. Now it is your call whether you want to stay on to that question and then uh, work on it till you pass, or you want to move on to the next question. Like for example, one question which, which uh, where I had to uh, check multiple times was uh, the auto scaling stuff. You know, the load balancer was not connecting because of the port and all those things and I had to check multiple times and it took some time uh, as the VM was also taking time to come up. So these are some challenges that you might face during the course of the exam if the VMs are taking time or you know if uh, there is some issue with the load balancer or whether you're not able to check the answer. There was one such question where I felt like I have completed but then the check answer was 
not coming up faster, meaning that it was showing still failed. And then I had reported this to the support. Since it is beta, they're they are trying to get the feedback. So I gave them the feedback. I'm sure that in the main exam, they're going to fix all these issues. But other than that, whenever it is going to be launched uh, for people who are trying to, who are planning to write the ACE exam. So get ready to do hands-on preparation. If you are planning to take this exam in future, get more familiarized with the quick labs. That way it will be easier when you're uh, taking this exam whenever it is going to be out. So that's the quick video I wanted to share with you all the result about the ACE beta exam or the new format that is going to be launched and how I had passed it and my experience. So if you have any questions around this, let me know in the comment section, but I don't know about the dates when it is going to be launched. So I'm guessing it right. Maybe the new format will come in the month of October or around that time. So till that time, you can take the, the usual format of multiple choice questions that is currently available for people who want to write immediately. For people who would like to recertify like I did, I would suggest to wait and then take the new format. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Take care. Bye.